What's good guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing Risen Tweaks Extreme Tweaking Panel versus Tone's Premium Utility. I'm going to see which one gives you the highest FPS, lowest ping, and the best latency for your system. Before we get started, let's get some testing grounds. Risen Tweaks Extreme Utility costs 30 USD. Tone's Premium Services is a subscription-based optimizer, with a yearly subscription being $39.99 a year and a monthly subscription being $5.99 a month. Both tests will be done on the same exact PC with an i7-10700F, 16GB of DDR4 RAM running at 3000 mega transfers a second, and a 1660 Super. All three of the tests will be done on the same display settings listed here. All three tests, including the stock, Risen Tweaks, and Hone, will be done on the FPS test benchmark map on the game Fortnite. We will also compare the upload, download, and the ping of all three tests. Now that we're done with that, let's get on with the showcases. The first utility showcase is going to be Hone. This is the premium version so I will have every feature available. I really like how this looks. This looks amazing and extremely user friendly. It has advanced, basic, and general tabs and anytime there is advanced optimizations it gives you a warning. You can favorite stuff. It also gives you recommended boost steps, optimized defect drives, and junk cleaner. This is stuff I would do to every PC. This is great. They also have a Hone AI. This is something I've never seen before, and I feel like it could be useful in some cases, or it's just to look pretty. They also have BIOS settings, which is extremely rare in tweaking utilities. And hopefully that this hopefully this BIOS settings are really good and we'll see how much performance I get out of it. I also have specific games, and just like that, they detected my games. And yeah, this is really good looking, but let's see if it actually helps my FPS. I'm gonna just do every optimization I can for my PC on this, and then I'll see if it boosts my FPS any or not. The next tweaking utility we'll be looking at is Risen's Tweaks Extreme Utility. This is a pretty simple utility. It looks pretty clean, like the black. It shows our RAM usage, CPU usage, and our ping right on the screen. It also shows all my specs. I actually think that's pretty cool. I know EXM has that. Socials and my god. It has Windows optimizations, network, bloat, GPU, and extra optimizations. It's not as pretty as Hone, but you never know. We will see if it helps my FPS or not. For the process count test, the stock OS had 134 processes after boot. Hone had 72 and Risen Tweaks had 67, with Risen Tweaks Extreme Utility winning this category. For the latency test, the stock OS had a highest recorded process latency of 233, with an average of 10.7. It also had a highest recorded DCP latency of 224, with the average of being 4.9. For Hone, the highest recorded process latency was 223, with an average of 2.7. It also had a highest recorded DCP latency of 222 with an average of 1.35. For Risen Tweaks, it had the highest recorded process latency of being 214 with an average of 2.6. It also had the highest recorded DCP latency being 212 with an average of 1.29. Risen Tweaks also gets a point for this round beating both Hone and Stock OS in highest and averages for process latency and DCP latency. For the internet test, the Stock OS had a download speed of 288 megabytes per second and an upload of 50 megabytes per second. It also had 35 milliseconds of latency to the server. For Hone, it had a download speed of 292 megabytes per second with an upload speed of 34 and 36 millisecond latency to the server. For Risen Tweaks, it had a download speed of 287 megabytes per second, with an upload speed of 40 megabytes per second, and latency to the server being 34 milliseconds. For this test, I'm going to give a tie between Risen Tweaks and Hone utility, because this is just margin of error. 
There's too little a difference between all the tests to count towards an actual point for one of the utilities. For the only test that actually matters during this experiment, the FPS test. All three OS's experience the same amount of GPU and CPU usage being between 60 and 70%. However, for the stock RAM usage, it was at an average of 8200. For Hone, it was at 6800 and for Risen, it was at 7000. However, I believe this is margin of error because Risen Tweaks beat Hone's utility and process count. For the stock OS, it had an average FPS of 255 with a max of 375 and the 1% lowest being 150. For Hone, it had an average FPS of 269, a max of 318 and the 1% lowest being 147. For Risen Tweaks, the average FPS was 283 FPS with a max of 436 and the 1% lows being 154. With Risen Tweaks winning this round, it also has won the whole experiment, with Risen Tweaks winning every single category besides a tie on the internet test. For the final conclusion of this test, Risen Tweaks has won against Hone. While not by much, it is still a win. Hone Utility was very nice looking and had a clean UI with lots of tweaks. Same as Risen Tweaks, it had a very nice looking UI and a lot of tweaks to offer, both with advanced tweaks. However, I believe Hone looked and felt more user friendly for a new user. It gave warnings for advanced tweaks and even gave a huge warning for the BIOS section. If you would like to purchase Risen Tweaks, you can go to risentweaks.com and use code HYDRA on any purchase for 10% off.